everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Luxuries. I am making another masculine soap. Um, this is just a small batch because I want to test out the fragrance before doing a large batch. But I have a big bottle. Um, this one is Black Velvet. And I don't have the fragrance description for you. If I remember, I'll put it down below. But the best way to find it is going to be on my Facebook group or on my website. I tend to forget to add those little things down below. But we're going to do this one in three colors. We're going to do black, Ooh, that's a pretty black, I haven't used this one before, and gray, and I have never used gray before too. You can stand up if you want to see darling, just stay back there. She's sitting on the floor and draining her neck. Okay. I think I want some more. And I'm planning on a drop swirl with this one. And then the main batch is going to be white. I get asked a lot about where I get my containers. These are polypropylene chemical picture pitchers. Um, sometimes you can get them on Amazon, but be careful because they can be really expensive. Um, science supply stores online, we have one. We're not too far from Portland. Um, so we get, we've gotten some from there. And then I have some pictures that I've gotten from restaurant supply stores too, not these. My big batches, I use those. Okay, I'm gonna mix these up. blend it up if you can see I don't know if you can see minus the bubbles but the shimmer in this black I don't think you can see it but um, you're missing out because it's really pretty and the gray I don't know I've never used gray before but there's the gray there's a tiny bit of sparkle in there isn't supposed to discolor or rice or do anything funky. I was surprised I'm doing a total of 10 masculine fragrances. I'm kind of revamping um, how many fragrances I have. So I'm going to have 10 men, 10 citrus, 10 floral, um, and then any like fun ones, holiday, things like that. I'm not going to go over 10. I'm trying to keep my um, stock under control because I get a little excited sometimes and have a lot of soap and it can be a little overwhelming but because I'm really focusing on a masculine line too I picked 10 fragrances to start with and testing some of them out but anyway I was surprised none of them are um, difficult fragrances to work with I only had one or two that discolor, and I can work with that. There's a little, tiny bit of shimmer in this. I'm just trying to see. Tiny, yeah, maybe you can see that. A tiny bit of shimmer. Now let's see if the camera's going to... There we go. Focus again. All right, this black, while it's super duper pretty, it's not real black. And I want this to be... Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think it's going to be okay. I wanted it to be black black, but velvet really isn't... Well, I guess sometimes it is. I don't know. It's fine. It's going to be just fine. All right. So bold, and we're just gonna wear. I'm saying that like you're doing it with me. 
I'm just going to do a drop swirl. This is really fluid, which normally I like, but I'm actually, I almost want it to be a little thicker. kind of refreshing. This is the second batch I've done today and the other one was extremely fluid too and after having so many soaps lately that have been um, fast movers this is a nice change. Sometimes they look muddled when you pour them in, and then when you cut them, they look fine. So I'm trying not to worry, but I don't want it to be like an in-the-pot swirl. We'll see. I'm starting to run out of white. It would help if I didn't pour it down the side anymore, huh? have a plan for this other than I wanted it to be black, gray, and a white drop swirl. Oops. Okay. So I'm here trying to decide what I want to do next, what soaps to make next. We've got two more big ones to do. need to make another shaving soap today, but I don't know that I'm going to have time for that. I don't know. I might just buckle down and get that done. Okay, we'll see. to that. Kind of nice, huh girls? Yes. Alright, quite a bit of white left after all. I have some remakes coming too, some masculine remakes I haven't made in a long time. Bay Rum, um, last time I made that I made a lot. It's due to be made again, but it's going to be changed because I just did a, a soap last week, week before, I don't know, a little while ago. And when I got done, I was like, you know, this reminds me of a soap I have and I almost copied uh, my bay rum design. So, try to figure out how I'm going to change bay rum. And then we have Veveter coming back. That's always a popular one. It used to be called Comet way back when, when I used to name my soaps after um, something in the sky. It was named after a comet, not the cleaner. 
Haha. Ha. My girls are smiling. Probably because mom's a dork. Nope, that's funny. <laughs> to scrape as much as I can out of here for a couple of reasons. One, it makes cleanup easier later. And two, I just don't like leaving soap behind in my containers. I want them, I want to be able to use it. I don't like just washing it down the drain. I was trying to clean that off and I just made it worse actually. All right, so then we saved, we, there I go, we again. I saved some gray mica from the, for the top. Just gray. We talked about doing black. The we there was intentional because I did discuss that with my kids. But decided just to do the gray. Okay. Try to clean up some of this soap really fast here. Give it a second to set up before I swirl it. Whoops. I have a little acrylic lid I'm going to slide in across this, and once in a while it will uh, glue shut. All right, there is black velvet. Don't go anywhere, we'll have a cutting video on the back half of this. Here is black velvet out in the mold, and this one looks so pretty. Um, it's very nice, the, this, the gray, I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up maybe a little bit there, it has a nice sh uh, shimmer like a silver shimmer to it. And it just came out so nice and smooth. Um, and I just realized I haven't smelled it. So let's see. Yeah, it still smells just as strong as it did in the bottle. I was worried it was going to lighten up. Oh, that side is pretty. But it hasn't. There's definitely musk. Oh, this is cool. Look at that side. That is really pretty. I'm going to see if we can pick up some of the shimmer. I don't know if it's picking it up. Maybe a little bit. But it is really cool. I This is the first time I've ever used gray in a soap. I like it. I think I'm going to have to play with this some more. That one looks like a face. But this one is just very sharp. I have insomnia and I've been, you know, go back and forth between sleep and not, periods of not sleeping. And um, last week, I've been up a lot just thinking of soaps in my head and then um, I thought of this one about a week ago so I've been really excited to try it and I'm really happy. I really like it. I like the colors. Okay, so this is Black Velvet. This will be cured and available first or second week of October 2017 and available on my website at StargazerLuxuries.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.